Seventh graders, this is to help you with question seven on CR 27. It says a fair coin is flipped three times. All right. Draw a tree diagram or make a list to show all outcomes of the three flipped coins. Okay. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to call this flip one. On flip one, you can get a heads or a tails. Then... I'm going to move on to flip two. If you get a heads on flip one, you're going to flip a coin again. Second flip, you're going to get a head or tail. This shows us we got a tail on flip one. Now for our second flip, we can get a head or a tail. Now we're going to do a third flip. So I'm going to call this flip three. You got a head on the first flip, a head on the second flip. You could get a head on the third flip or a tail on the third flip. This represents a head on the first flip, a tail on the second flip. Third flip, you can get heads or tails. Right here. Tail on the first flip, head on the second flip. Third flip, you can get heads or tails. Tail on the first flip, tail on the second flip. Third flip, you can get heads or tails. Let me make an organized list. Let H equal heads and T equal tails. So for our organized list, I just go along every branch. I do heads, heads, heads. So you get heads, heads, heads. Then I go along this branch again. Heads, heads, tails. Heads, heads, tails. I just go along each branch. So then I see, okay, I've covered all those branches, so now I'm going to head here. Heads, tails, heads. Heads, tails, heads. Now I'm going to go again. Heads, tails, tails. Heads, tails, tails. Along that branch. Now I'm going to go along this branch. Tails, heads, heads. Tails, heads, heads. This is how you can make an organized list. Tails, heads, tails. Tails, heads, tails. Now I can go tails, tails, heads. Tails, tails, heads. I'm going to get all the possible outcomes. Tails, tails, tails. Tails, tails, tails. So there better be eight outcomes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The reason I know there's eight outcomes is because on the first flip, there's two possible outcomes. On the second flip, it's heads or tails. There's two possible outcomes. And on the third flip, it's heads or tails. Two possible outcomes equals eight outcomes total. So that's just a quick way to check, do I have the right number of outcomes? So there I made a tree diagram, and I also made an organized list. Those are the two ways we show our sample space. Then it says, what is the probability that at least two of the flips are tails? So we're going to do the part that are tails, oh, at least two tails. So the part that are at least two tails over, let me write out the word tails just in case. So this up here was part A, this down here is part B, out of the total possible outcomes. And we've counted up and we know our total outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This was proving that. Now we want the part where you have at least two tails. Okay, we don't have any tails. We have one tail. We have one tail. Ooh, at least two tails. There it is. Only one tail. Ooh, at least two tails. At least two tails. At least two tails. That means any of the outcomes that have two or three tails. One, two, three, four. So four out of eight times you can predict you'll have at least two tails. Four eighths, if I divide numerator and denominator by four, so about half the time. About half the time you'll have two tails. I hope that helps.